what's going on jam fam so the new game mode city smash is finally out now this is going to be the game mode that is most closely tied to mutations this is going to be the main way that we get our monster eggs to unlock our mutations it's also going to be the mode that always has mutations active so today i just want to talk about my experience playing it i played about three hours of it on stream yesterday and about two more hours off stream today and like i said i just want to talk about my experience with the game mode and give my thoughts on it so let's get into it all right so right at the top i want to say this really quick i don't think that people are really going to enjoy this mode too much i think we're mostly going to be playing this mode just to get our monster eggs and on the days that monster eggs aren't available through the mode we're going to basically ignore it and i say this for a couple of reasons but the biggest one is definitely because it kind of feels like a weird mix of super city rampage and heist and i say that because it's super city rampage in the sense that you want to destroy half of the city as godzilla but it's also heist in the fact that you don't want your half of the city to be destroyed so there's going to be these weird ebbs and flows where like you're offensive destroying their city and then you need to back off and defend yours because your city is just getting torn up too quickly and you need to stop that now it's a very well-known fact that heist is not a popular mode and the fact that this has a very similar gameplay loop to heist is a problem and i don't think it's going to be very popular amongst most people now there are other issues outside of just the core gameplay loop that i think are a problem and the first one that i want to talk about is the fact that it just feels like it takes an eternity to destroy some of the buildings as a brawler now all brawlers can do damage to buildings and some brawlers are actually pretty good at destroying the buildings brawlers like jackie or like bb are pretty decent at destroying the buildings in a couple of shots but then you play brawlers that have longer reload speed and low amounts of ammo so something like piper or bell they're going to be really bad at destroying buildings which is a problem because if that's the only mutations you've unlocked and you want to play those mutations you're going to take them into this mode and they're going to be really bad at it so i don't think it's very fun gameplay loop in that regard now obviously in heist that's really not that big of an issue because you really only need to do a fixed amount of damage to the safe so snipers can work and there's actually some maps where snipers are like the meta for that but in this game mode in this case it's a problem because aoe is way better than uh single shot damage and you know like i said if there's the only mutations you've unlocked are on sniper brawlers then it's not a really good experience in my opinion another big issue with the game mode right now in my opinion is the fact that godzilla kind of sucks to play as you pick up the bolt you become godzilla and then you're just super slow and you do do good damage but you have very limited range and you're just basically a bullet sponge for the opponents to charge their super off and you basically go down super quick you're basically a sitting duck unless they walk right up to you you're not going to be able to do much damage now godzilla can destroy the buildings very quickly that's obviously his job that's why he's the main mechanic but like i said everything else the fact that you can't dodge attacks the fact that you have very limited range and the fact that you're just feeding super non-stop kind of sucks and it makes it almost not worth playing godzilla sometimes especially when you consider the bugs which we're going to talk about right now and yes there are three big game breaking bugs in this game mode that i want to talk about there might be more bugs but the three big ones that i've come across i want to talk about real quick and the first one's going to be with otis now basically the way this one works if you play as otis you activate your fat splatter gadget you pick up the bolt to become godzilla and it changes godzilla's attack from his normal swipe to otis's fat splatter now it doesn't have a lot of range but it does leave a pool on the ground that if people step in you're going to die it does like 7,000 damage you're basically going to get deleted immediately and obviously this is game breaking because it adds aoe to the attack for godzilla so he can destroy way more buildings way quicker it also buffs the reload speed of godzilla again can destroy more buildings way quicker and also it makes it so that when you swipe at a brawler if they walk anywhere near that swipe they're going to die so it's three ways that it buffs the godzilla's main attack and it's just like godzilla isn't balancing around that and um obviously it breaks it because it does like huge damage you could tell it's a bug because it does leave the splatter effect down on the ground so it shouldn't be like that obviously next up there's a bug where if godzilla ends up getting stuck in a wall you basically cannot move for the rest of the match you need to be killed by the opponent to get you out of that wall and opponents that are able to put you in a wall will not kill you so um this sounds like a very like niche situation but there's two major instances where this happens sprout is the first one he can throw the wall on top of godzilla and get him stuck so he can't do anything and obviously this is timed but what's going to happen is that sprout's going to use that gadget where he picks his walls back up and just keep cycling that over and over again on you to keep you from moving until he can kill you and then the next one and this is the real game breaking one in my opinion is that gray can use his pulling gadget to get you stuck inside a wall and if he gets you stuck inside an unbreakable wall you're stuck there for the rest of the match unless somebody kills you which they're not gonna because the match is a 2v3 you can't get another godzilla they basically win at that point so yes three major game breaking bugs that make the game mode feel very unbalanced unfinished and unfun 
Now, I do want to point out that Brawl Stars did tweet out earlier this morning that they do plan on doing maintenance later this week. Um, they are going to be fixing bugs, and they are going to be doing balance changes on Godzilla, and they plan on doing this before the next Colossal Carton. That's how we get our eggs from the game mode. So hopefully this does address everything that I just talked about as far as Godzilla and um, the bugs, but... It also has a chance of bringing up more bugs, so we do need to be aware of that situation because sometimes when you try to fix bugs, you do end up making more bugs. So we'll, we'll end up finding out what happens. So as of right now, I do think City Smash is a bit of a dud. Now, I do like the event. I think mutations are a bit fun. There are definitely ones that are way too overpowered, something like Ruffs or Ricos make the game modes that they play in that is not City Smash super annoying, so that is a bit of a problem. I don't know if they're going to balance mutations because they are meant to be broken, but that just is an issue right now. But as far as City Smash specifically, I don't think people are really going to enjoy it that much because if you don't enjoy the gameplay loop of Heist, you're probably not going to enjoy City Smash that much. Like I said, some brawlers just feel very unviable there. Uh, brawlers like Piper and Bell specifically uh, that I can think of that have mutations but aren't really the best for the mode are a bit of a problem. And then there are brawlers that are decent in it. So like Brock is a decent sniper for it. Sprout's pretty good with it. And um, uh, Jackie, like I said, Jackie's another good one. Like I said, I think the big glaring issues are the bugs and the fact that Godzilla, the main mechanic of the game mode, just generally sucks. I would like to see Godzilla become a little bit faster and maybe get his reload speed fixed a little bit because when you're not playing as Otis, his reload speed kind of sucks and it makes it very like annoying to try to destroy buildings. Even though he does it in one swipe, you do it so slowly, you might as well just be playing like Jackie or something. Anyway, I just want to talk about City Smash for a bit. I wanted to let you guys know what I thought about the game mode and my experience. Like I said, I don't think it's very good, but you can let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And uh, while you're at it, let me know what you think about mutations. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what your favorite mutation is. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed my rambling, make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you're new, consider dropping a sub as well. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.